What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 3v3 S&D gameplay on the map Sovereign. Uh, this was actually the first GB I played when I got back from my trip. I did play a few warm-up games before this, like a couple free-for-alls, a search and rescue or something real quick, just to get my shot back. Uh, Christianity I've played with a few times. We're considering him for a position on the team so we I've, i have a few strats with him and then owens i've pretty much never played with him so our strats were a little bit funky we didn't quite have everything down so you may notice us do a few things that we wouldn't normally do like we accidentally left bomb behind at one point but it's whatever it's still a really good gameplay so i hope you guys enjoy that in the background one quick announcement i will be doing a video per day now so i hope you guys enjoy that i'm not sure how long that's going to go for if something were to happen if we decide to go to another land and it just takes too much time to practice i might have to cut it back down to three a week but for a while now it's going to be one a day so enjoy that and okay the main topic for today is the major team changes slash organization change thing that's going on here so first of all noah or avhe is not on our team he technically never was he was a pickup for the LAN event um, we did decide to not pick him up permanently though um, it was just it I don't know it just wasn't working the greatest as well as it could have been uh, I was I don't know I mean he was he was a good player he had good gun skill and everything but it just wasn't quite working out with us and then the more major thing is going to be that Alex or Plizix is not on our team anymore uh, this is kind of a sensitive subject, so I'm going to put this as nice as I can, and if this makes anybody angry, I'm sorry. This is pretty much the nicest way I can I can talk about this. So, for a while, we knew that either he was going to leave or we were going to drop him. Uh, pretty much the day after I bought my plane ticket for the LAN event, we realized it due to something that happened, and I won't go into that. And so, we were just waiting till after the LAN event, and then we were going to go our separate ways. We all knew it. It was and it, we even talked about it eventually so it was it was one of those things there were some issues basically he, he just couldn't get along with us I don't know if it was you know just with us maybe on his new team he'll be able to get along just fine I hope that happens I I hope none of the issues that were present on our team is gonna happen in any of his other teams I hope either he can fix it or it just happens to work out great for him on the next team that'd be awesome you know, I mean, he was a vocal leader, which was great, but it backfired a lot. He, I don't know, it, because he's a vocal leader, he tended to yell and rage a lot, if I can say that. And it, I, it, it kind of backfired on us. When we were doing good, though, he did really good. He did really good job of getting us hyped up and everything. So I, I will give him that. Um, we, we gave him multiple chances to change his attitude and stance. Um, for, for months and months here, and it, it just kind of kept going back. I mean, he's the only person that has ever made me mad in Call of Duty, which is saying something. And when I say mad, I'm not even talking about yelling. Like, I, I don't yell at people in a video game. I'm a very quiet person. But he could make my blood boil. He did it several times, and it just got worse and worse at the end here. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of saying something. Um... Yeah, but I, I do blame myself for some of this going on here because, I mean, I'm kind of the one that decided to get back on Alex's team. I was like, okay, yet another chance, let's let's do it, because I thought that we could work it out, and it wind, it wound up not working, really. So, I mean, I blame myself for being naive enough to believe that it would just change that we could actually fix it even though we've been trying to fix it for months and months and months so I, I feel like it's kinda of my fault I blame myself for you know kinda of keeping us back for the last month or so just because of that one decision it kinda of brought the whole team down so I apologize to everybody for that hopefully things will get better now that's actually one of the things I'm worried about now because you know now I'm supposed to be the captain of the team now as far as I know unless we get somebody else that wants to be captain I'd be down for that because I don't want to let my team down again because I really do feel like I let my team down by making this previous decision previous decision about a month ago to go back with Alex um, I, I don't want to let him down again like that so I'm kind of worried about that but hopefully things will be okay um, I, I definitely will not be teaming again with Alex unless 
I can talk to some of his teammates that have been teaming with him for months and they say that they haven't seen any of the issues that were going on. Of course, not all of them I'm discussing in this video because it would it would just not be right. But um, you know, if I if I could see that he he changed or he's able to work through it now, then possibly, but for a long while there's absolutely no way that I will be teaming with him again. So what kind of happened here was we kind of split into two teams for flight now. Myself and Levi are now the leaders of Flight Nation, and then Alex and a new coach are now the leaders, for now at least, of the Flight US team. So we're no longer Flight US, we're Flight Nation. Um, the coach just came on right at the end of it. I feel really bad for him that he had to witness the end of it. Everybody was really mad and uh, frustrated. He, I, I feel so bad for the coach. Um, the coach is really good. He's got a lot of previous LAN experience with his teams and everything. So, you know, I think he's going to be ha able to help Alex's team a lot. And, you know, some people might be wondering, well, are you jealous of the coach going to Alex's team? A little bit. I mean, you know, he can bring a lot of good experience to the table. He can help the team out a lot. But you know what? It's, it's up to him to make his decision as to what team he wants to coach. Obviously, if we were to try and force him to coach our team or something, that would not work out at all. He wouldn't like it. Nothing would work out fine. So I'm I'm fine with him going to Alex's team. I wish them the best of luck on that. Um, yeah, so we do technically have two open slots right now on our team. We have several players in mind, so we're not doing tryouts or trials or anything right now with other people at this moment until we, we get to see how we do with them. If it, go, if it goes past that, though, and we decide to maybe open it up a little bit, the kind of people we'll be looking for would be East Coast people with hopefully some land experience, even though we don't have land experience. I know we were trying to go to that land, though, and it just didn't work out, but it'd be nice if you had land experience. Um, definitely online tournament experience. You'd need to be able to you know, prove some of it, whether it be through video or through bracket links or, or something, just somebody who could uh, confirm it. And you need to be at least 15 plus. We want that maturity. We, we don't want immature people. Um, it, that's just the way it is. Roles would be subject to change right now because we're, we're not sure. It depends. You know, if we pick up one of the people out of the several that we're looking at and he's an AR or if he's a sub because some of them are either way. So it, it's, it's not, we're not 100% sure on that yet. Um, and you would need to be able to play three to five hours a day depending on if events are coming up. So... For right now, just kind of keep that in mind. We're not looking to try anybody out right now, but we might be fairly soon. So I'll let you guys know if we start doing that. But keep that in your mind. If you're one of those types of people, just stay tuned and I'll let you know. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.